We went 2 and one yesterday for a small profit of 0.9 units, so let's keep the momentum going into Wednesday and have a big day with three college basketball best bets. Are you guys with me? What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Bounce. We are a daily college basketball betting show committed to bringing you college basketball winners on a daily basis. Today's Wednesday, February 7th. In today's video, we have three college basketball best bets that we believe have the best opportunity to go 3-0 and make us some money here tonight. Now, before we get into the play, though, if you haven't already, smash the like button. Please go ahead and do so now. If you guys are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. We are pumping out some great content on a daily basis. We're talking college basketball. MLB is around the corner. we got Super Bowl on Sunday. We're putting out daily picks for that big contest. And I do not want you to miss on any great things we got going forward. Now, without further ado, here's tonight's three selection. The first play we are rolling with is Alabama, plus 5.5 points over Auburn. The odds are minus 110. Look, these two teams know how to do one thing well, and that's get buckets. Both teams rank inside the top 25 in terms of points per game, with Alabama leading the way, averaging nearly 90 points per contest. This game might be Alabama's toughest test yet. They go up against a number 12 Auburn side that's unbeaten at home, 11-0, and they're coming off two blowout wins. Typically, when you have two elite scoring teams, you tend to side with the team that can uh, shut down on the defensive end of the court. And in this case, that's Auburn. They rate out better defensively. But I don't think you can overlook Alabama, what they've done throughout the course of the season, and how many scoring options they do have. They have four guys averaging in double digits in terms of points. And if you've been following along, typically I like to back teams on the road that can knock down their free throws and rebound extremely well. And Alabama fits the bill on both regards. I think this is too many points to lay here with Auburn at home. Give me Alabama plus five and a half points. Minus 110. The second play we have for you is Belmont money line minus 125 over Murray State. Look, these two teams have had their fair share of battles over the last decade or so, but recently they've fallen off. In this contest, especially, I'll take Belmont at home, trust them to get the job done in front of their home fans for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, they have a solid home record. They're 8 and 2 at home on the season. One loss was a bad loss, but the other loss was to a 20-3 and Indiana State team that can be forgiven this year. Second, they have more scoring options. This is a team that rates out better in terms of offensive metrics, and they're one of the top teams in terms of field goal percentage and three-point shooting percentage, and they love to make the extra pass, which means plenty of assists and plenty of open shots for teammates. Flip side, while Murray State has been playing some good basketball of late, their scoring options are limited, and I don't believe they'll be able to keep up uh, in a hostile crowd against the Bruins. Lay the money line here. Minus 125 with the Belmont Bruins. And the final play we have for you is Creighton. Minus two points over Providence. The odds are minus 110. Look, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Creighton is the far better team in all offensive and defensive metrics. They are coming off a one-point loss against Butler, a 99-98 loss. And I'm expecting them to be refocused and put an emphasis on the defensive side of things while still be able to getting plenty of points as they've been accustomed to this season. And not to sound like a broken record, but road teams, free throws, rebounding, very important. Creighton is one of the best teams in both of those statistics. As for Providence, they're not going to be able to throw anything Creighton's way that the Creighton cannot counter with. Leave the two points here with the Creighton Blue Jays, minus 110. That wraps up Wednesday's edition of The Bounce. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or leave a comment in the comment section who you guys are rolling with for your best bets tonight. Until next time.